Senators Joe Manchin and Shelley Moore Capito met with U.S. representatives of West Virginia along with dozens of retired coal miners and the president of the United Mine Workers of America to discuss the introduction of the Miners Pension Act. After the conference, I got to speak to both senators about how this plan will ensure that these miners get the benefits that they deserve. Coal miners and politicians standing side by side on Tuesday afternoon. Gentlemen in the room and all of the people that they represent is, I think, indicative of some really strong, powerful stories about fairness, about promises made and promises kept. And uh, they didn't give up. They didn't give up. The bipartisan group announced the introduction of the American Miners Pension Act. It's time that we keep our promise. That's all we're asking for. If we can keep the promise that we've made. And it's not a promise we're giving you something. It's a promise you're going to get what you earn. And that's it in a nutshell. The act would protect the pensions of retired coal miners whose benefits have been placed in jeopardy the last few years. We would work for less money in that contract because we had the promise of our health care pension at the end of it when we went to retire. And if we don't get a fix, which we had to promise from 1946 of our health care and pension, and we just want the government to live up to that promise and, and let us keep what we work for. I'm not asking for a handout. I'm asking for something that I work day in and day out to earn. It promises retirement benefits to more than 100,000 minors and family members from every corner of the United States, especially the 27,000 West Virginia miners who need this to make ends meet. Well, we all depend on our monthly pensions, which aren't large, but we, we depend on it as a way of life, to support of life. And uh, without them, then there will be a drastic change in life. This new bill would use excess funds meant for mine cleanups and would also borrow some general treasury money to pay for the pension checks. Because you made America great. You were the ones that, that fueled our nation, that made us what we are today. And we've got to make sure that that promise made in 46 is upheld. Just like we did, took care of it on health care, now let's do it on pensions. On Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., I'm Rebecca Fernandez reporting for Newswatch.